Hello and welcome to the big room because today we're pulling out the giant salamanders. In that tank over there, we have the giant Pacific salamanders, largest on the West Coast. Right here, we have a hellbender, largest salamander in the US. I think it's the fourth or fifth largest in the world. And then we really jack up the size in uh, this tank right there. We have a giant Japanese salamander, which is like the, the size of a medium sized dog. It's uh, absolutely insane. So let's get cracking. We're gonna start with the Pacific one right here to get you guys a sense of what, you know, a generally large salamander might look like and um, the biggest one in the West Coast. These specimens are held in one of these large kind of metal tanks right here. This is where we hold any of the larger things that don't fit in a typical jar you see over there, or if it, they'll be placed in here if it's like a lot of specimens. So a bunch of specimens that were kind of um, uh, taken from one place at one time. We take these clamps and unclamp them real quick. I think there's one more over here. Oh, epic. <laughs> All right, so take a look inside this tank. It's covered in this kind of like cheese cloth, this kind of cloth thing. That just kind of covers everything, makes sure it rests at the bottom. And if any of the specimens rise above this fluid right here, which is just a bunch of ethanol, um, they'll stay wet and stay moist. So stay preserved. Let's open this up and see what we got. Hell yeah, holy heck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo. Okay, okay, sick. So this is a tank of what looks like a couple hundred giant Pacific salamanders. Let's uh, pick one up. Oh, heck yeah, right there. Look at that skin, it's really neat and kind of marbly colored. You can see that they don't have any scales or anything, unlike reptiles. Let's flip it over, take a look at those feet, which are very interesting. Nice, we have four toes on the front. That's kind of common for salamanders, and then on the back, we have oh, this great looking, <laughs> great looking foot with five toes over there. Very cool. Um, they have nice long tails that are kind of squished laterally. It, you would think that they would use that tail to kind of pro, pro, propulse them as like a propulsion mechanism underwater, but uh, that's not the case. More often than not, they use those nice little feet to kind of walk or crawl or run on the bottoms of rivers and things like that. That's our first tank, that's step one. Things are only gonna get a little bit bigger from here. Hellbenders are typically found on the East Coast and under rocks and rivers and things like that. And this guy is a big old juicer. So let's pop him open. Okay, we're gonna bring it over to the tray. Ooh, epic. All right, here we go. Salamander number two, looking hot. So this one's kind of curled up. It's a little twisted because it was stored in this tiny little jar, which is one of the benefits of storing larger things in these tanks over here. But it's still looking pretty cool. We still have four toes on the front. If we flip it over, we got about five toes in the back. And the cool thing about this one is we can get a good look at what's called the lateral line on salamanders. Hey, what's up my dude? Yo, look at that face. Hell yeah. Is if you push in real close and take a really close look at the skin of the salamander and you might see a line of very small white dots going from its head all the way to its tail. Can you kind of see those dots right there? It's part of something called the lateral line. A lot of fish and frogs have these too. It helps them kind of sense differences in water pressure while they're underwater, which is a way to kind of uh, help them see when it's very dark or murky or things like that. Like in a river when you're just chilling under a rock, which is where you can find these guys. All right, excellent. Let's jam this guy back in its jar real quick. And uh, then we're gonna move on to the big one. I gotta prepare because this, this juicer is so massive. I was filming this thing for a short on TikTok. It's so dang heavy. It was crazy to hold. Okay, here we are. It's kind of like the other one, just a tub full of ethanol. Why is it brown? A lot of people ask that. I think it's due to a lot of the fat that kind of leaches out of the animals as they're stored over time. It just kind of colors the ethanol a little. So let's remove this cheesecloth and look at who we got. Oh my God, it looks like a, like a snake or like a seal or something like that. Whew. Oh, Jesus. 
Here's the face right there. What a good looking guy. You ready to go? You ready to come out and say hello? Okay, let's go. Behold, the Japanese salamander, one of the largest salamanders in the entire world. Oh shoot, it's leaking. It's beautiful. Look at this boy. It's so big. I always think the craziest thing about this guy is it's just kind of a total juiced up version of the smaller salamanders. You still have that compressed tail. You still have that kind of flat face and those wide set eyes. You still have, looks like five toes in the back. I think there are five toes in the back. You still have five toes in the back and four toes on its little baby hand in the front. There's some nice pads on those too for walking on the bottom of our rivers and things. That's the Japanese salamander, one of the biggest salamanders in the entire world.